hello what's up youtube photographer running sweat and actually in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i did the color grading for this image in photoshop so i made a full tutorial whereby uh showing you the color grading process for this very image and it's the video before this one if at all you're interested in learning skin retouching from the very start to the very end make sure to check out that very video so this is going to be about how i process this profile from my canon 6d camera and it was taken using a one light setup as you can see and this is a raw file so the very first thing i tend to do when it comes to editing or color grading a raw file it is simply coming right to the image after importing it into photoshop make sure that i put in these settings right here so make sure i color space is adobe rgb 98 the depth is 16 bit and i prefer the resolution to be 300 pixels per inch then I also sharpen for screen right here. Make sure that this is checked and the amount is set to high. And I simply click OK. So every single time you import images into Photoshop, these settings are going to be automatically saved in your camera or filter. So let's start with the color grading process. So before you do any color grading, you always have to make sure that you have the right contrast or color issues regarding your image. So for my case, I prefer to shoot images with a warm kelvin or a very high kelvin between 5800 to around 6000 kelvins because that also enables me to really color grade them easily and better and i tend to have a more friendly skin tone to color grade at the end of it also you have to take that into consideration so when i'm going to start color grading i first of all correct the contrast and light issues regarding the image so by this you can see the dress is a little bit blown out so i just come and simply take the highlights down and do the same for my whites and what that is going to do is going to make the over exposed areas in the photo to be properly exposed so i'll just come and up increase or add contrast to the image and i'll just come and add blacks to intensify the contrast within this photo so after i've done these basic adjustments I just increase on the contrast so after i've done these basic adjustments the next thing i'm going to do is simply coming and adding some little bit of clarity to the image up around four or five and that looks okay so i'll just come straight down to my vibrance option or tool so i just intensify the vibrance of the image and simply desaturate it slightly then after we have done that the next thing is going to be going to our color mixer or the hsl panel and this is what you have to take into consideration when trying to do any kind of color grading when it comes to Photoshop. So for this case, you can see that I have these options, hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is basically changing a given value of a color to look like a color below it or above it. So for example, if I told I'm to play around with the orange slider to demonstrate that for you. So as I'm taking the orange color, towards the left hand side i'm going to make it change and look like a color just on top of it and doing the opposite which is taking this slider towards the right hand side is going to make the yellow color more towards the color below it which is the green color so that is what the hue is going to be doing when it comes to color grading saturation is the intensity of a given color so you can see that this is going to intensify the yellows or you can decrease on the saturation of the yellows and luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so for example if i told we are to demonstrate on the orange color taking it towards the right hand side is going to brighten up the orange color or the yellow color or even darken it when you do the opposite or the reverse so basically that is what we have to take into consideration so what i'm going to do for this case i'll first of all darken the oranges in the skin tone by coming and taking the slider of the oranges towards the left hand side and that is going to intensify or increase on the contrast within the skin tone area then i'll come to the hues and i'm just going to because the skin tone looks more on the orange side due to the dress right here it bounced off some color towards the skin tone so i just come the oranges and i simply make them slightly towards the red side remember moving the slider towards the opposite side or the left hand side is going to make that color look like a color on top of it 
and towards the right hand side it's going to make that color look like a color below it so i was making the oranges more of the red color because i felt like the oranges were a little bit too much on the yellow side so after i've done that the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my saturation and simply desaturate uh, my yellows a little bit just around negative two and let's look at a quick before and after so far this is a before and after before after so next thing that we're going to be doing you can see that this background right here was a little bit more on the black side and now the hair is gaining some little bit of that yellowness or that yellow color within the hair area and we do want it to be close to the black side so we're just going to come down to the split toning option within uh, the camera raw filter and what we're going to be doing you can see we have highlights so the very first thing you have to take into consideration or do we're just going to come to my highlight area and simply intensify on the saturation just like that i'm just going to take up the slide up to when i feel like the skin tone is getting a color that i want up around negative 27 but when you feel like the intensity of that color is too much you can come and simply reduce on the saturation so you first of all increase the saturation and introducing that color and simply reduce on the saturation when you feel like that color is a little bit too much for your liking then like i said in the shadow area that is where we want to handle or tackle the hair area so i'm just going to first of all come to the saturation and just take it slightly up so like i said i'm just going to introduce or move the slide up when i feel like the hair looks better or it looks black like it is meant to be so i'll just pull down the shadows just by a tiny bit and now take down the saturation slightly so i feel like this looks okay to me so i'll just come back to my hsl panel or the color mix and i'll just simply intensify on the luminous or dark and oranges to get a more or to get more contrast within the skin tone area so basically this is what i do when it comes to color grading skin tone in the camera filter and you can see a quick before and after for just the color grading of the skin tone so when you feel like you have a little bit more of the red color within the skin tone you can come to the reds and just hue them towards the orange side just like that a little bit so this is the before after before after so this is how i basically color grade images in the camera raw filter and if i told you i've loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating